Hi, and welcome to Pause for Prayer. I hope you're all all right. Um, so, Matt asked me to do a Pause for Prayer on um, the church's family. And I don't really like doing these things unless I've got something proper to say. So, I was just thinking about it and there's two things that have been happening recently in my life which I thought might possibly link in. So, here we go. So, <laughs> um, just recently, Glenn... Uh, came to our youth group and he really challenged me because he said that he reads the bible from cover to cover every year and he says he starts in genesis where it says the beginning and he finishes in revelation where it says the end and he reads the whole thing all year and it really challenged me and i think a lot of people always say well don't do that because you'll get bogged down and you won't be able to do it um but what i was thinking was well the way i'm doing it isn't working very well anyway so <laughs> I've set off and I'm doing okay. I'm about seven books in, but I'm not going to lie, it has been a real challenge. And I think, too, there's two things that it has really, really taught me. And one of them is the amazing sacrifice of Jesus, um, that we don't have to worry anymore about sin because Jesus dealt with it, which is a massive blessing when you read what happens in the Old Testament in the first five books um, of the sacrifices you have to make and the impact of sin before God. Um, but Jesus dealt with that on the cross. So that is an amazing thing for us all. Um, but the second thing is that we are actually part of that family. That is God's story, God's plan, working out in the Israelites and in their lives. And we are part of that family, um, going right back to Abraham. Um, so I think that's pretty amazing that God working in our lives makes us part of the family that goes right back through to the Old Testament. Um, and that's true for all of us. We're all part of God's family going right back. Um, and the second thing that um, has recently been happening is that the church that I'm meeting in the afternoon with Pastor John um, have been a real blessing to uh, our family, me and Alan and our family. Um, and they have welcomed us like our, like we are part of their own family. Um, and on Easter Sunday, we went to their church in the afternoon and we couldn't be more different culturally. <laughs> Um, but they treated us like long lost family because of Jesus, because that is the thing that connects us. That's the only real thing we've got in common. They speak French. They've got a completely different style of worship. Um, but we've got Jesus in common and they welcomed us like long lost friends. Um, and I think that is a real example to us that, you know, we don't have to have things in common really with people. We don't have to be the same as people. We should celebrate people's differences. Um, but because we've got Jesus that unites us, that's what makes us part of God's family. Um, and I think the thing that that's taught me as well is that families don't stay the same, do they? they we want them to grow. We want people to have a story in their life. We want to know what Jesus has done in their life. So, um, yeah, so two things. We're all part of God's family, which goes back, right back to Abraham um, and into the Old Testament. And... Um, we're all part of a new family as well that's united by Jesus um, and we want that family to grow, don't we? We want to draw people in, we want to include people, we want to grow um, and more people to know Jesus and the impact that he makes in our lives. Um, so hopefully that's a few thoughts on church's family. Um, uh, yeah, and then we're just going to finish with a prayer. So if you're ready to pray. Lord, well, thank you um, for your amazing family. Thank you that it draws in people um, from all walks of life. And the thing that holds us together is you and your work in our lives um, and what you've done for us on the cross. Lord, we thank you for the help us to be open and welcoming and friendly and to learn from the people around us, even though we might not be the same as them. Um, we might be really different, but Lord, we pray that you would help us to be open and welcoming and to learn from each other and to grow. Lord, please draw new people into your family. New people, Lord, that we can share your love with. It. Then they have a story of what you've done in their lives as well. Amen. <laughs>